Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Rainy Daily with Christ. Today is Monday, July 10th, 2017. Our topic for today is the gift of salvation part 2. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor seated in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of discomfort. Now, the text is taken from the book of Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. If you don't know the right way to, to a place, you will never get there. One of the ways to assessing a wealthy life is righteousness. There is no dryness for righteous people because God will guide them into plenty. Righteousness opposes, but sin demotes. That is why the Bible made us to understand that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. You can never see reproach when you walk in righteousness, but anyone who walk in unrighteousness, anyone who walk in ungodly is doomed to have surpluses of reproaches. May you not be doomed in the name of Jesus. When you are godly, what you express is exaltation. Whatever a righteous person does must prosper. Righteous people are immune against failure. If you think you are living a righteous life and you are still failing, you may have to check your life one more time again. This morning, the Holy Spirit is saying to every one of us to stay away from sin because sin is a sinker and a killer. Sin can only take people high up and lead them to crash land. If you want to get to your high places in life, you must stay away from sin. Everything you get through righteous means lasts forever. But wealth gotten through sin shall soon diminish. Food for thought. Anyone who take delight in sin will soon stink. Prayer. Father, have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. I don't want to, I don't want my life to sink. So help me to stay holy till Jesus comes in Jesus' name. I want you to pray that prayer. Uh, taking your position, don't forget, taking your position as a king in God's kingdom, reign daily with Christ. God bless you.